Man, you, and you front. You, know you front now. Don't front for 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 Gilly now. No front. No All front. right. Keep keep it being the week. You know, uh, you know we actually had to fight plenty of times. When? That's what, That's what I'm saying. When? You keep saying keep it a buck. I'm saying when. Plenty of times. Now you saying like one that. thing and your dad saying another. So when? What you mean? You saying one thing and your dad saying another thing. So what? What is what? I've been asking for that fight, I've been asking for, for that fight since I uh, 2018. What are you talking about? Since I was You been asking to fight me since 2018. All the top guys. Man. Cut it. Cut Carol's it. Cut it. it. I would have liked to see Boots, and I'm not doubting Boots. I think Boots phenomenal, by the way. But I would have liked to see him fight like a Stanionis, a Virgil, a Connor, one of one of those dudes. You know what I'm saying? A former champion or something. You know what I'm saying? Just so I could. But if you want to put him in there with Crawford right away and risk it all, then by all means. Because it's one of the best fights to be made in boxing, honestly. From a hardcore fan's perspective. It's maybe not like as far as monetary gain. But as far as us hardcore fans, it's a, it's a matchup made in heaven. You said they used to call Boots Baby Bud. We need to see Boots in there with some with some with some guys, man. I don't know if Cody Crowley is that guy. I don't know if he's that guy. You said Boots is the chosen one. You said Boots struggled with pressure fighters in the past. He tends to get wild in these moments when it's not a boxing match. Mm, I like that. The quote unquote boxing match. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. There's a lot of questions, man. These are young guys, too. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be learning on the job. They're going to be learning about themselves as they fight, as they get older. You know what I'm saying? So there's still a lot of questions with Jerome Boots in this. There's just a lot of questions. He, he looks – I'd be lying to you if I didn't say he, he didn't look great, that he's checking all the fucking boxes. But I need to see him. Like, there's certain things I need to see. There's certain things that, and if you want to put him in there with one of the best fighters in the world in order for me to see this, then go ahead and do that. I think that'd be pretty crazy, but by all means, risk it all. Because Terrence Crawford isn't just some ordinary, like, older fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's just not some ordinary, older fighter. It's not like he went in there, Errol Spence, and really got, like, Spence didn't do nothing to him. It's not like he was losing a fight and came back and won or, you know, he looked bad in the fight. No, he looked phenomenal. Excellent. Better than ever. Stronger than ever. So you mean tell me that version of Terrence Crawford gets smoked by Jerron Boots in this? Are you fucking kidding me? Based off of what? Ramon Vila? My boy from Nova Scotia? Who laid down? A Thomas DeLorme? Come on, man. Stop playing with me, bro. But I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it, bro. There's some things I haven't seen from Boots yet. I haven't seen it. He goes chill at 47 for what? Who's there? To do what? Collect the bells from who? You might as well go up to 54, bro. Big fish up there too, right? Yeah. Why did he go to 54? You said Horn, Benavidez, Gambo, all lose it. Yeah, I'm sure they would. Yeah, you said a six foot five dude, Duck and Butt. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Of course, Arrow's not going to fight Boots. Y'all not going to demand it either. Y'all not going to demand it either. Like I said, Boots could fight Conor Ben. He could fight somebody like... Um, and I'm not playing matchmaker for the dude. But now that he's with Eddie Hearn, and if Eddie Hearn has an 18-month plan, well, he could have him fight Conor Ben. I doubt it. I doubt that happens. Um, he could have him 
I don't know who the hell who who does Eddie Hearn have for John Boozan to really fight. Crawford's the smaller guy. Yeah, he ain't no big 154, 60 pounder coming down to 47. He ain't no big five foot ten dude like Boots Ennis fighting 47 when he probably really should be at 54. Nah, he was a little dude, smaller guy coming up, washing bigger dudes. I haven't seen that for Boots, bro. I can see Boots was at 54. You know what I'm saying? Smoking a competition, rolling over the opposition. Bro, just go beat up on Bud. Why, why y'all do this to Bud? Like Bud having proven to y'all time and time again, no matter who you put in front of him, no matter how big their weight class, what style they bring, he's going to handle it. And I will admit, Boots Ennis will probably be his most toughest and interesting matchup by far on paper. It's just the style, the size, um, the youth. Boots Ennis has some things going for him. But will it be enough? I guess one of the most skilled dudes we've seen probably since Floyd, right? 